know, several years ago, I traveled to Israel and I visited many sites associated with biblical events. It was a wonderful trip, but one of the most fascinating places we visited was the Dead Sea. Now, sure, I knew about the Dead Sea, how nothing could live in it because it was so salty, but I was amazed at how salty it was. Did you know that the Dead Sea is 10 times saltier than the ocean? In fact, it is so salty that swimming in it makes you think you're floating. It's that thick. But do you know why the Dead Sea is so salty and it has no life in it? Well, the Dead Sea is dead because it continually receives and never gives. And the same can be said about our spiritual lives. You know, one of my favorite verses is Galatians 6, 7, where the Bible says, Whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Now, we often think of this verse having a negative application. For example, if you are unkind to others, don't be surprised when they are unkind to you. But Paul is stressing a positive application. Like a farmer, if you sow, you will reap. And in this context, think of giving as sowing. If you don't give, don't expect to see the joy of seeing others blessed. And Paul would remind us, you get what seeds you sowed. If you plant tomatoes, you get tomatoes. Any farmer would be shocked to plant tomatoes only to see cucumbers growing where he planted them. But a word of caution, even though sowing brings reaping, getting isn't our motivation in giving. If it is, it is not giving. But when we give for the right reasons, our lives aren't like the Dead Sea. Instead, they are rich and full. So think about it, and I'll see you tomorrow.